What's up, everyone? This is Jess from Weird Westeros, where I go over weird histories, lores, and theories from A Song of Ice and Fire. Just because the show is over doesn't mean we can't still talk Game of Thrones. And today, I just wanted to talk about how it's been crazy for the past few weeks for me. (laughs) I know it's been quite some time since I've posted. I was in the middle of working on one of my series called Weird Structures and in the last installment I was going to go over the lull. That is still in production. I just have to finish editing that video. It's been about, it's got to be the longest video I've ever produced. So it's been taking me some time but I also haven't been working on YouTube as much as I usually did prior. I've been kind of going, I've been kind of dealing with the death in the family so it's kind of changed my uh, schedule up lately but you know I do want to get back into the swing of things because I want to get back into making videos, I want to get back into talking about Westeros and Essos and all the crazy different areas that there are. I want to be getting into more topics, I have a whole list of things that I wanted to talk about so I'm really excited to get back into the swing of things and get back into my normal work habits and as far as everything else goes, there's a few things that I want to try that I kind of wanted to bring up here. So you let me know what you think, what might be cool, what might not be cool. One of the things that I'll be doing with my videos now is essentially making them unscripted, which is really exciting to me. Normally, I'm more of off-the-cuff kind of person. I don't know if you can tell, but in the all of the videos that I've made prior to this one, they've all been scripted. And as much as I like scripting, It's great. It's nice. You lay out your information. You make sure you get your names right. Um, Just to make sure all the information is correct. And I still want to make sure the information is as accurate as I can possibly make it. But at the same time, I think going a little bit more off the cuff might be more enjoyable because I think that's more of a strength of mine. So still trying to keep things enjoyable, but also maintaining accurate information is important for me here. So I'm going to be trying that, see how that goes. If it doesn't work out, I'll just go back to scripting. It won't be too big of a deal for me, but I just wanted to kind of give that a go and see how it is. The other thing that I've been wanting to do as well is focus on creating more long-form content. Um, Like I said, the last installment of my Weirdest Structures series is covers the wall and uh, what I'd like to do well actually the entire video is just insane I think it's close to 19 minutes and you know that's the longest video I've ever produced like I said so far and I want to continue that trend because just thinking of myself as a viewer of so much YouTube content that's probably the place where I get my most content slash entertainment slash internet taking in information. Uh, YouTube is the place for me and I know for myself I really enjoy long form content because working and putting something in the background that I might find to be really interesting and can tune in and out of as I work, you know, or if I'm reading or just I love having sound in the background and sometimes I'm actively listening and sometimes I'm not but you know since it's a form it's a type of content that I enjoy I'm hoping that maybe you all would enjoy it as well so I'm going to go ahead and continue to give that a go I know it's completely different than what I've been doing before because I have videos that are super short you know less than three minutes and I really want to change that trend just because I think like I said uh, long form content is more evergreen and I think in general it's probably higher quality too if you really like information, if you really like to dig into topics, which is something that I like to do, I think long form lends itself to that, obviously, because you can talk about more. So that's something that I'll be doing as well. Another thing that I want to do too is just in general also start creating live content. So a few things here. I have a small, 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 small Twitch channel. I love to game and I want to start streaming more. So what I want to do is start streaming more on Twitch and linking here. So if you like to game, I love to game. I like so many different kinds of games, uh, role playing, first person, third person. I think the games that I probably can't play are horror games because I just get too scared. I know it's lame, but maybe that's probably why I should actually stream (laughs) 
a horror game because it would be insane. I'd probably be screaming. But how cool would it be to bring back like Silent Hill 2 or Silent Hill 3? Yeah, I've not played those games, but I know so much about them because they're just so interesting. So anyways, tangent, I want to uh, start streaming on Twitch a little bit more. So I'm going to be doing that. So I would definitely, if you were a gamer, you know, join me, say, hey, what's up? I'd really like to meet more people online. I'm also thinking about doing work streams. Some of my favorite YouTubers I've seen do this. At first I didn't understand what it was until I watched it and I really like the idea of that since you know prior to dealing with all the shit that I was dealing with I was working on YouTube every single day. Whether it was editing or whether it was scripting or whether it was just planning shit out, I was working on YouTube every single day since the beginning of June. So I don't know if I will get back to working every single day. It just depends on the new content that I'm building. I'm debating how I want to go about that. But anyways, when I am spending time editing, I think it would be great just to work stream it. I mean, if anyone out there is wanting to learn how to edit. I don't know how much I could teach you because I'm just completely self-taught or YouTube taught. So I don't know how helpful that can be. But you know, if you're an editor out there, I'd love to see like little tricks and tips if you have any, just because I'm always, I always love to learn new things. And if there's a way to make editing faster and spend less time on it, that would be freaking amazing. So anyways, those are some of the things that I was thinking about. So, you know, doing more long form content, streaming on Twitch, which, you know, definitely you're more than welcome to. I'll, we, I will go ahead and put a link down at the bottom and then add a little Twitch social icon on my channel page. So you guys can go ahead and go to my Twitch channel uh, that way. And then I also want to do some work streams. And then if you like the live streaming and that's pretty cool. Maybe we can do like once a week live streaming just for like 30 minutes or an hour. I don't know. Just to chat, say hey. So anyways, that's kind of what's been on my mind. It's just been so crazy, but I want to get back into the swing of things and I want to be more. I guess I want to... I guess I really just want you guys to learn a little bit more about me and get to know kind of me in general. So yeah, let's go ahead and, and do it. And, you know, I'd like to know about more about you guys. I'm totally uh, open to, you know, making friends online. So let's do it. I guess that's it. Shucks. Okay. First off the cuff video, I guess I did pretty fine. Gosh, it's already coming up to nine minutes of audio. Anyways, this will be interesting to edit. So uh, let me know what you think below. Be sure to like, subscribe, do all those things if you haven't already, if you want to. Uh, totally up to you. Doesn't matter to me either way, but thank you so much for tuning in and I'll be looking forward to getting back into the groove. Thank you so much.